Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Align Plans, how are you? So today, in today's video, we are going to set up our monthly setup on my A5 Notique Planner. And I thought that I would just kind of bring you along. And yes, I know I'm like super late for the party, but that's okay, at least we showed up fashionably late. <laughs> We're going to be setting up my monthly layout as well as at least some outline on my weekly layout. A timestamp is going to be down in the description if you want to kind of skip to certain parts. Any links that I find that I think will be relevant will also be down in the description. So without further ado, why don't we just dive right in. And of course, if you are brand new here, well, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad that you are here and joining me in this video. Um, on this channel, we kind of do a little bit of everything. We chat at least one to two times a week talking about anything and everything minimalist planning. And sometimes I'm super late to do plan with me videos because why not? So <laughs> if that sounds good, um, if you wanted to learn how you can use these beautiful tools in the most intentional way, you should absolutely stick around because we have lots of fun here. So why don't we just dive right in? First and foremost, um, I know that I'm going to be like, look how thick this is. This is like probably like the thickest that I've ever had my planner. I already removed April. And I decided to add May and June as well so that I have the next couple of months kind of ready to go. But because I do have a few subscriptions that are kind of coming my way, um, for now I thought that, you know, I'm probably going to be just removing certain things. I also, I have side, total side note that has like nothing to do with anything. I found like a new way of using this admin page from Cloth and Paper, like the monthly admin. I'm totally not using it as admin. I'm actually using it as a social media calendar, but so far it's, it doesn't give me a ton of space, but it's also like, it's not terrible. I don't know, we're trying it out. Um, let me know in the comments if you are using that insert. For now, I'm just kind of playing around with it, see how it goes. I wanted to remove this because I wanted to renew it. Let me just get this out. I will, I will strip away everything else afterwards. So let's just move this guy out of the way. And here's our monthly layout and my insert, in case you're like super not familiar or you're new here, my insert is from Rosie Paper Tree and I absolutely love it. Okay, uh, what did we want to start out with first? So I already have like some of my categories that are happening here. So I wanted to, I think I'm going to be using some, some dots. I recently hauled so many different things that are so cool and I really want to start utilizing them because they're just so, so damn pretty. Like I got these super cute icons. I will probably do a post about it on Instagram too, but this is from a sticker page. It's a girl here in Toronto and this is for watering plants. And Lord knows that I need to remember doing that. Uh, side note, I'm literally just going to put music on so you can listen to the music. We will speed this through a little bit as I'm kind of entering things through. But the categories that I'm entering in are full moon, new moon. So I'm entering in the lunar cycles. I'm going to add in goals, things that are like to do, and then I'm going to mark them on the, on the actual monthly layout. So let's go. I wanted to highlight somehow the upper corners where I can write in most of my categories. So for that, I'm going to be using the planner spot little strip washies. I tried writing over it, but honestly, the only thing that you can use on it and that has worked for me personally, a permanent marker. So here we go. So I'm starting out with the top for goals and then uh, midway through the page, we have my ongoing to-do list, which really will relate to like all of the family events and things like that. So truth be told until I actually made a full list of what events and things like that that I would like to include for the month, I generally never really made any goals or to-dos so that entire sidebar was generally completely neglected but i'm kind of starting to use it in a completely different way when really i'm planning out at least one movie night i'm planning out one game night 
when we can get away because good oh my goodness like we are so in dire need of that you're actually seeing me right now putting in these tiny little icons they are from sticker page and they're basically a reminder to actually just water my plants technically it's supposed to be twice a week for now we're starting out with once a week as we're moving into the spring i think it's going to Okay, next up, I am putting down these tiny, tiny little page flags from, they're not page flags, they're like teardrops from Planner Spot. And as soon as you make a mistake, they're like the most difficult thing to maneuver. So I'm using tweezers and no, they're not planner tweezers because I generally don't use tweezers to put down mark the stickers, but whatever, moving on. So I'm color, I decided to kind of color coordinate events that the whole family can kind of sign up for so i'm starting this new thing where i'm pre-planning social events for the whole family which i'm thinking it's like borderline brilliant if you ask me especially if when you have children even if you don't have children i mean i want to write down more than just you know it's date night <laughs> is that just me does that make me a bad per person i don't know don't tell me don't comment that in the comment section because that's not nice. <laughs> um, I'm, I also decided that it would be nice to kind of plan a little weekend getaway. Again, never did that. Might as well start. Plus, I honestly just really, really needed an excuse to use the washi strips and I'm using them successfully and I feel really good about it. Like, how cute does that look? Like, can we please talk about it? Moving on to the weekly... I really have to show you guys close-ups of all of the stickies that I'm going to be using because they're so beautiful. All of the actual decor that you're seeing is from Color Cafe. It was in her spring box and she had like this limited edition thing coming out with the summer box where she had like 25 boxes sold with the hour, like basically with a time difference. By the time I got to it, she sold out anyway i digress i was able to buy it i messaged her privately and she's like honestly the sweetest human don't you love that within the, i have to say like within the planning community like it just i feel like it just brings in like the the kindest people ever moving on uh another little sticker icon that i'm using here this is also from planner page and i had like the hardest time with these dot stickers from color cafe i think that the, the cutter didn't go all the way around so i literally you're watching me ruin at least three of them solution find a different color and then we are good to go i basically end up using this entire sheet decoration and honestly I have to say I'm completely here for it like finding like this minimalist looking decor a little side note that I just discovered I don't know why this is like fascinating to me but you know here we are having this conversation on the schedule tab once you're done writing in all of your schedules add your decor that's that's all I'm that's all I'm going to say add your decor kids because you're going to feel so much better about doing it and honestly, I would always like shy away from like these large decor stickers. Oh, and here's realization moment right there. Good God. Like, I feel like some of these decor stickers need to come with <laughs> like, like a manual, like an instructional manual. Like, look how pretty that looks up top because it's, it's kind of transparent. It's like the most elegant little thing ever. Anyways, I'm literally just writing in all of the events and reminders that are kind of coming up. Things that, of course, only come to me when I'm actually filming something and I need to capture it for the entire week. Quick little side note on how you can use the bottom section. See how it's there's a blank section at the top and then there's a blank section in the bottom that says notes. One way that you can start using it and the way that I started using it recently 
is the top section is sort of like the intention for the day. And then the bottom section, you can use it as reflections. Sometimes I write in any cards that I pull, but other times I literally just use it as like a few lines of reflection. So it's almost like it's literally a journal page. Here is the finished look, how it looks like with all the decor and everything I used. I hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up and all of the good stuff. And I cannot wait to see you guys in my next one. Bye.